हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर एन बी भोगनर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्लांट पैथोलॉजी फ्रॉम के के वा कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर नासिक माय टुडेज टॉपिक फॉर द प्रेजेंटेशन इज डिसीजेस ऑफ मेरी गोल्ड एंड कोरिएंडर मेरी गोल्ड इट इज़ फ्रॉम द फैमिली एस्टोरेसी इट इज़ यूज एज अ गार्लैंड पर्पज एंड डेकोरेशन पर्पज इट इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड कमर्शियल फ्लावर क्रॉप इट ऑल्सो रिड्यूस द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ निमेटोड and uh, it is a symbol of celebration and hinduism let's see the diseases one by one there are two diseases which are included first one that is alternaria blight and second one that is botrytis blight or which is also called as grey mold first alternaria blight which is caused by alternaria zini or alternaria tagetica let's see symptoms it attacks on the leaves and sometimes on flowers as you can clearly see in the image that typical brown small spots occur on the leaves these are circular and uh, sometimes it becomes purplish they coalesce combine to form blightening patches and at center it become grayish surrounded by yellowish green border next etiology Uh, in this case mycelium it is septic brownish on which it produces conidiophores which are brownish erect sometimes slightly bent and septic and on conidiophores conidia arise these are light brown to dark brown muriform and beaked muriform is divided by transverse and longitudinal cross walls or setae next is management how to control it using of fungicides copper fungicides mancozep or coc copper oxychloride at the rate 0.2% or you can go for triazoles next disease that is botrytis blight or grey mold it is caused by botrytis cinerea let's see symptoms uh, it attacks on the leaves flowers and stems in severe cases when it attack on the stem it causes rotting and ultimately the collapsing of plant occurs when it attacks on the flower buds they fail to open and in case of mature flowers they become decayed and premature drop occurs and uh, sometimes in case of uh, open flower there is a fuzzy fungal growth you can see in the picture the fungal growth that is a whitish grayish and it just look like a fire so it is called as a petal fire disease management field collection or clean sanitation then provide proper air circulation maintain dry foliage avoid the overhead watering system because all the pathogens or mostly fungal pathogens they require moisture condition and moisture condition it invites the pathogen use the uh, disease resistant cultivars which will help in uh, building the yield next uh, fungicides like coc or mancozep at the rate 0.2% next part that is diseases of coriander coriander it is a annual herb from the family apiaci the fresh leaves are used in cooking for garnishing the food dishes and the dried seed used as a spice called as dhania and it is used in our daily cooking let's see the diseases one by one there are three diseases which are included first one wilt second powdery mildew third one that is stain gall and stain gall it is one of the emerging disease in coriander wilt it is caused by fusarium oxysporum f species coriander symptoms these are very easiest common symptoms the low it attacks on the lower lower leaves then uh, the leaves turn yellowish drying drooping withering of leaves because the pathogen survives in the soil it infects the plant through the root system it plugs the xylem vessel xylem vessels main function is to transport the water mineral supply to the other plant parts so even if plenty of moisture is present in the soil the 
water is not get transported to the other plant parts so wilting condition occurs in some cases sterility is observed and uh, seeds are immature and light in weight the roots it is one of the most important symptom roots show the vascular discoloration that is browning occurs in the vascular system next disease cycle the pathogen or the disease it is a soil borne disease and it is survive in the form of chlamydospores these are the thick wall resistant structures or spores they germinate when they get a favorable condition and when they germinate they attack the pathogen produce yellowing or wilting symptoms then the secondary infection it occurs by production of conidia by the asexual reproduction and the cycle continues management how to control it because it uh, primary source or sec uh, secondary source the inoculum it survives in the soil so soil treatment soil sterilization crop rotation is necessary soil drenching is recommended coc at the rate 0.25% or you can go for the seed treatment with biological control agent or a chemical agent at recommended doses next disease powdery mildew in marathi it is called as a bhuri because the appearance it looks like a whitish it is caused by causal organism erysipe polygoni let's see the symptoms first the pathogen it attack on the leaf then petiole and umbels on leaf it forms a whitish fungal growth then entire leaf area it get covered with the fungal growth and it also attacks on the petiole and umbels in severe cases premature sterility occurs umbels get dry and whole plant looks ashy white in appearance you can clearly see in the diagram the ashy whitish appearance of that infected coriander next is management how to control it there is a uh, spray with the vegetable sulfur 0.2% it is the most important symptom or you can also go for triazole group of fungicides primary infection since it is a powdery mildew disease the pathogen it survives in the plant debris in the form of clistothecia and secondary infection it occurs by conidia and in case of etiology the mycelium it is superficial and uh, it septate it is septate in nature and it produces on short conidia for conidia which are formed in chain and clistothecium it, it is a dark globose structure last is is that is stem gall which is caused by protomyces macrosporus let's see the symptoms one by one as the disease is seed and soil borne so it is a systemic in nature uh, it forms major important symptom is that it forms tumor or swellings on the aerial parts that is the stem uh, then peduncle and flas these galls are uh, soft and fleshy at initial stage and at later stage they become hard the dimensions are mentioned in the slide the peduncle it appears abnormal or malformed and flowers and fruits are hypertrophied that means extra growth or overgrowth occurred these are the symptoms disease cycle the pathogen is seed and soil born it survives in the form of chlamydospore chlamydospores it is it is a thick resistant structure and it is a triple layered wall or triple layered structure the outer membrane is pushed outwards to form a vesicle with the help of water drop the vesicle is formed and in that vesicle the protoplasm and nuclear material it gets gets transported and here daughter nuclei get formed and further the spores get multiply and at maturity the spores are released to cause further infection favorable condition that is epidemiology that is minimum or maximum temperature and relative humidity these are the main factors then phosphorus fertilizers increase the incidence 
and the pH also plays a very important role that is a 7.5 pH is suitable for the infection. Perpetuation that is the mode of survival how it survives primary infection it occurs through seed or soil with the help of chlamydospores and secondary infection it occurs through conidia or spores. Next part that is management it is a one of the most important part sowing time sowing time it should be around 16 october to 16 november to minimize the yield losses use of healthy disease free seed follow crop rotation since pathogen is seed or soil born uh, use resistant lines that is panth haritma jd1 panth1 and seed treatment with recommended seed dressers at recommended application dose.